Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is Coach Danny, and today we're talking about day 22, Monday, April 13th. All right, so to start off with our warm up, we'll be doing three to four rounds or about whatever it takes you um, to complete in 10 minutes of eight squat jumps, two inch worms, two crab bridges, eight push ups, eight left and eight right reverse lunges, and eight towel or ring rows. From there, we have an exciting day today. We are going to be building to a max back squat if you have the equipment to do so. So use about seven sets or so to build up to what, um, whatever weight you're able to reach. I want you guys to look back at what you've done previously and try and beat that. Um, everybody's been working really hard regardless of the fact that we are kind of stuck at home. Um, but I'm kind of excited to see what you guys um, all pull out here. So do me a favor, please make sure, like post it in the gym group on Facebook or text us about it or make sure you add it into your notes on True Coach and let us know how that goes if you're, if you're building to a max for your back squat. If you do not have equipment or you have some equipment, we'll be doing our four sets of 10 deficit lunges or Bulgarian split squats paired with four sets of 12 ring or towel rows or bent over rows with a dumbbell. All right, so from there, we're going to be going into our workout, which is Laugh It Up Fuzzball, very creative name. We have a 10 minute am rep, so as many reps as possible in 10 minutes. And what we're gonna be doing is repeating the seven kipping pull-ups, ring or towel rows, or underhand chin curls every time. And then we'll be increasing by three reps on the second movement, which is our lurpee. Now, a lot of you guys know what a lurpee is. Um, it is one reverse lunge on one side, one reverse lunge on the other side, followed by a bodybuilder or a burpee, and a full jump up at the top. Now, those are going to be increasing each time, so they'll get a little bit harder as you go further into the 10 minutes. Um, but in terms of our pull-ups, you can do strict pull-ups, you can do kipping pull-ups, you can do ring rows, however, um, whatever it is you have that you're able to use, go ahead and get it done. Also too, if you have a squat rack and a barbell, but you don't have anywhere to do pull-ups, set it up like we would in the gym, right? Make sure it's sturdy though. Um, you can use like rope or something to tie um, your barbell onto those, um, like the standing, rack if you will um so that it's it's a little bit more stable and then you can kind of hang underneath it but with your feet on the ground and do strict pull-ups that way too that's another option if you don't have any place to do your pull-ups okay um but underhand chin curls are also a really good option i added the video in true coach so you should be able to click on it and see what they are but basically you're using a sturdy table that you're basically underneath hanging from with straight arms and you're gonna pull yourself up and close to the table obviously your head might get in the way so you're only going to go as far as you can but then lower yourself back down into full extension on them okay so that's a really really good option um, if you have something like that that you're able to do all right um, now in terms of the coaching notes um, like I, I guess I already said most of this the pull-ups are gonna stay at seven the lurpees increase by three each round try to get through the pull-ups with big fast sets for as long as you can um, if you have to break them up try and make up your time by doing your lurpees a little bit faster um, which is reverse lunge reverse lunge and then up down so a bodybuilder or a burpee with a jumping jack at the top full extension of the hips right um, now for the lunges if you want to move faster you can kind of jump from lunge to lunge and then drop down into your burpee position but just know it's going to wear you out faster so keep an eye on what pace you decide to take with those um, and make sure that you're coming to a fully open hip after each of your lunges um, the goal for this workout is anywhere from 80 reps to 133 reps meaning finishing the round of 15s to finishing the round of 21s um, now something exciting guys, we're going to be posting a weekly schedule in terms of our virtual zoom classes. So stay tuned for that. And I think that's it. I hope everybody had a great Easter and we'll see you back tomorrow.